Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to the Get More Out of Seven Shifts webinar. We are an employee scheduling software made 100% for restaurants. My name is Emily. And I'm Sufi. And we'll be your hosts for today's webinar. So first, we just wanted to thank you for attending. And the goal of this webinar is to show you some of the features in Seven Shifts that you are currently not using. We'll give you some best practices and some quick tips. Then we'll spend some time reviewing our favorite features if you have any questions, please write them in the chat window at the bottom of your screen. And just so you know, all entities are muted. So we'll answer your questions after the presentation. So now I'm gonna pass it off to Sufi and let's get started. So to kick things off, uh, first of all, one of, the few, one of the features that you'll have access to under the Entree subscription plan would be assistant manager. So you can access that by going to manage, then going to employees. And in here, when you're trying to add a new employee, so let's say we click on the add button, you'll see that the user type says employee, assistant manager, and manager. So assistant manager is the new um, level of hierarchy that's added that way. Um, so what assistant manager is basically is that it's a level of hierarchy that says between manager and employee. And in a similar way that admins can manage manager profiles, managers can also manage assistant manager profiles, just like they would be able to um, manage employee profiles as well. And assistant managers can also have a lot of permissions that managers have access to as well. So that's basically the assistant manager feature. Another feature that one of that our clients use quite often and they seem to love quite a lot too is the events feature that you have access to under Entree. So the events feature can be found by going to the schedules page and then clicking on the events tab on the schedules page. And once it loads up, you'll see that a monthly calendar is shown. And to simply add an event, you can either click on the add button or you can simply click on the date on the calendar itself. So if you click on the 13th of June, for example, you can add a title which says um, sport event as an example. We say location, we can either choose one of the locations or have all locations selected. Uh, the date is already entered in here. We can also select a color for this. Um, so let's say we choose green in this case and the start time for the event can be entered as well. So let's say 5 p.m. And for a description, we can say 30 people expected. So this has been entered for the 13th of June. And now if we go back to the schedules page by clicking on the view tab, and if you look at the 13th of June, you'll be able to see that the event shows up. And when you hover over it, you'll be able to see the description as well. Now, since events are location specific and since they're assigned to the location itself, Anyone who's assigned to that location will be able to see the event as well. And that includes all admins, managers, and employees as well. So that was a quick rundown of the events feature. Um, moving on, another feature that you'll have access to, which I believe is one of the most powerful features of using 7 Shifts itself, is the templates feature that you'll have access to under the Entree subscription plan. So the templates feature, it works in tandem with the auto scheduling feature. And it can be found by um, clicking on the templates tab right here. And this is where you can add a new template. So as the word itself speaks, a template, is based, a template is basically a collection of shifts that you can create in there. They can either be assigned to a specific person, they can be assigned as open shifts, or they can be assigned as any skill level shifts as well. So I'll just open up a demo template that we've created here. So it would be the common template one here. So I just click on the blue pencil icon here to open it up. And you'll see that there are a lot of shifts in here. A lot of these shifts are assigned to specific employees. So you'll see there are some assigned to Adam Henderson, John Wallace, Sarah Carmack, and so on. So you'll see that there are a lot of shifts that are assigned to specific employees. There are also a few shifts that are assigned as any skill level shifts. So basically these shifts can be assigned to anyone. Uh, and it's the auto scheduler that takes care of it about whom to assign that specific shift to. Now, here's the interesting part the auto scheduler keeps in mind uh, that the employee is not going into overtime, that they're not exceeding their maximum weekly hours, that they're available, and that they don't have time off. So it keeps all these various factors in mind before making sure that they're assigning the shift to someone in specific. And as you can see, there are also rows here for projected sales and labor target. So if you're using a repetitive labor target percentage or repetitive projected sales week on week, you can also enter that data in here. And when, whenever you use the template, since the template can be used as many times as you like, it will be filling in the same projected sales data and the labor target data as well. So just to give you a quick overview of how it is uh, when you use a template, I'll take you back to the schedules page here. 
Um, so next week doesn't have a schedule filled. So on a blank schedule, you can just go to tools and then select fill from template. And you can select the template that we just looked at, which was common template for front of house. And when you click on create schedule, you'll see that a couple of warnings popped up because we didn't have enough employees to schedule a few shifts. But uh, you can all obviously uh, drag and drop shifts as well to fill up for those deficiencies as well. And then when you click on go to schedule, you'll see that all the shifts are automatically filled in. And if you'll notice that um, it'll keep in mind over time as well. So none of the employees will be going above 40 hours, but you'll also notice that um, some of these employees that are not available. So Tracy Sally as a manager, for example, is not available on Tuesdays and on Fridays. And as a result, uh, the auto scheduler didn't assign uh, Tracy any shifts at all, keeping uh, their availability in mind. So that's auto scheduling and templates. Um, another feature, another big feature that you'll have access to under the Entree subscription plan is the weekly budget tool. And the weekly budget tool button can be found here on the schedules page. So I'll just go back to a week that we do have some data for. So I'll take you to the, back to the current week. So we're at the week of June 4. I click on show weekly budget tool and you'll see this table pop up. And within the table, you'll see different rows here. So you'll see projected sales, actual sales and labor target. If you have a point of sales system that we integrate with, if it's one of our partners, um, we'll be pulling in actual sales data from your point of sales system directly into seven shifts. So this actual sales row will be populating automatically, but you can always click on um, one of the cells as well and enter your own data in there. So let's say for Wednesday, uh, June the 6th, we can enter $5,500 as an example. Click uh, hit enter and it adds the entry in there. Um, the projected sales as well. Now this is something you need to enter manually if you're entering your actual sales manually as well. But if you have a pony sales system, again, that brings in actual sales data automatically through the integration, we calculate projected sales automatically as well using our algorithms, which have a really high accuracy rate as well. So you'll be seeing some really pretty good ac uh, accurate projected sales in there as well. And one other thing that you'll probably notice here is the labor target too. Um, you'll see that you can set a labor target. So there's a 5% here as an example. I can enter 3% here as an example. And you'll see that it changes to green. So if it's red, it's denoting that you're um, above your labor target. And if it's green, it means you reached your target or you're below your labor target. So that was a quick rundown of the weekly budget tool as well. You can also see that it's everything is divided by departments. So you can see your scheduled labor data divided by departments. And lastly, the one other feature that you'll have access to under the Entree subscription plan would be the dashboard. And the dashboard is basically a manifestation of the weekly budget tool itself. So I'll click on the home icon here and take you back to the dashboard. And you'll see this beautiful graph showing up. And in here, um, you can hover over each day and you'll, you'll be able to see the actual sales, projected sales, the variance between actual and projected sales, uh, actual labor, projected labor, labor percentage, and sales per labor hour. And if you uh, basically hover over a different day, you'll be able to see the data for every day as well. And as always, you can see the totals here for the week at the bottom as well. Yeah, so that is really kind of a general overview of what Seven Shifts um, offers and just kind of going over the new features. If you guys would like to try the Entree plan, you can simply contact support at sevenshifts.com and we will upgrade you without any additional costs for a month to the Entree plan. So it's kind of like if these features are interesting to you and you want to kind of have some time, you can simply email support and they'll glad you, uh, gladly put you and upgrade you um, on this plan for a month so you can um, try it out. And so we know we went over a lot of things like quite quickly. So if there are any questions, um, you can simply uh, chat them in the little icon and we can take up this next kind of space um, to answer any of the questions that you may have um, about seven shifts or the entree plan at all. Just in the icon, you can chat if something's popped up. We're happy to, to answer any questions, maybe regarding point of sale or how the templates work.
right. So yeah, it's Jean-Francois, you have a question. So main difference between the entree plan and the works, do you sync with toast? That's a great question. And I'm going to pass it over to Sufi. Okay, um, so I'll answer Jean-Francois's question first. So um, the main difference between entree and the works. Um, the works package can be seen as something, um, you know, that's, it's obviously the next step up from entree, but the, the additional features that you'll have access to under the works subscription plan would be, for example, the activity log, which tells you all the, all the changes or anything, any, basically any activity that's been happening within your account, um, within, within your account as well. So I, I do have a demo here. I can show it to you what the activity log looks like. So I'll just hover over the profile I can hear and then go to the activity log. And you'll be able to see that uh, any activity that has happened within the account, which includes schedule publishes, shift pull requests, availability, all of that would be showing up in there too. Um, secondly, the other, a few other features that you'll have access to uh, within the work subscription plan would be uh, the manager logbook, where you can, uh, act, you can have access to a logbook in which your employees can write, start, your managers can write uh, entries for the day in different categories. You can see your total sales, total labor, labor percentage, and weather as well up there. Um, again, weather is something that is also only available under the work subscription plan. And once you've filled out uh, the manager logbook for the day, you can send an email summary you know, at the end of the day. And all managers and admins and assistant managers who are assigned to that specific location, they will be receiving a notification um, for that specific day's manager logbook posts as well. Um, yeah, we, uh, the other feature that we have access to, uh, that we would grant access to under the work subscription plan would be um, overtime alerts. So overtime alerts are, uh, that's something we only provide with either an actual labor integration or with uh, seven punches. Um, how overtime alerts actually works is that you'll be receiving a push notification on the Seven Shifts mobile app on your phone. Um, if, an, um, if, an, <clears throat> if an employee is about to go into overtime or if they've already gone into overtime. Um, yeah, but uh, Jean-Francois, if you do want, uh, we will be more than happy to send out an email detailing all the information you need about the work subscription plan and basically um, detailing all the features that the works provides access to over, on, over entree as well. Um, to move on to Rachel's question here about syncing with Toast. Yes, uh, we do integrate with Toast. In fact, uh, Toast is one of the point of sale systems that we have a full integration with. So we allow an actual sales integration to pull in your actual sales data into seven shifts and then project sales accordingly. Uh, we have access to actual labor as well, which we'll be bringing in um, your actual labor data too. So your actual labor data would be showing up on the dashboard and you'll be able to generate a variance report by going to reports and going to variance. And as, as it says, you'll be able to uh, generate a report which tells you how many hours they were scheduled to work within seven shifts and how many hours they actually worked, and that data comes in from Toast as well. And it also compares uh, their earned data as well and their, their earned wages. Um, another aspect of the integration with the Toast Point Sales System is enforced scheduling. Uh, to put it simply, enforced scheduling allows only those employees to clock in using Toast who are scheduled the shift within seven shifts. And as always, we do have um, overtime alerts for Toast as well. So if, if an employee is about to go into overtime, um, you'll be receiving a notification on your phone as well, stating that they're about to go into overtime. Yeah, and then uh, Jean-Francois, your question about having a free trial um, on the works. Absolutely, I think this is definitely possible. Just email support and we can um, just show you um, what the other offerings are within Seven Shifts, because sometimes on Starter, you don't know, you know, Seven Shifts has changed and we made updates based on a lot of feedback. So it's important that you get to see and, um, and kind of identify if that's gonna suit your business and what you need. And also, Rachel, just to add, the integration with Toast is, is fairly simple. Really, with like a couple cl uh, clicks and like some mapping, you'll be ready to go and um, we'll reduce a lot of time and have um, really great information all in one place for you. Uh, just to add to that as well, Rachel, um, basically with the Toast integration, uh, the process is fairly simple. We request the credentials from Toast. Toast shares the credentials with us. We set it up for you as well. So the sales integration is all something that can be done all by you sending an email. And once that has been done, uh, all you need to do is go in, complete the mapping. And basically the mapping is uh, ensuring that the right employee within seven shifts is mapped to the right employee within Toast. And once that has been done, you're all good to go. And at the flick of a switch, you'll be all integrated. Yeah. So are there any other questions, you guys? Thanks so much for attending.
All right, we'll be um, sending a recording of this uh, um, webinar to you guys. And again, if anything else pops up, just email support at sevenshifts.com. Uh, and um, have a great rest of the week and happy scheduling.